This is the left ventricle. The first observation that should be made is the noticing the thickness of the ventricular wall or the myocardium. Also note that the left ventricle will be located at the apex of the heart. Between the atria and the ventricle on the left side is a two-cusp AV valve known as the bicuspid valve. Observe the cordate tendony and the papillary muscle. Now you can see that we are back in the right ventricle and observe the thinness of the wall. Also note that we are following blood flow as it passes from the right ventricle toward and into the pulmonary trunk. There's a valve here that will prevent backflow of blood from the pulmonary trunk back into the right ventricle known as the pulmonary semilunar valve. We have three leaflets associated with this valve. One, two, and three. This is a coronal section of the heart. When you dissect the heart in this manner, you end up with two sections, one that is anterior and one that is posterior. In this section, you need to observe the thickness of the outer heart wall to determine the right and the left ventricle. On the right side of the heart, the thickness is quite thin as compared to the left side of the heart, which is approximately three times thicker. Also the left side of the heart, the left ventricle will be at the apex. This muscular partition is known as the interventricular septum. This is the right side of the heart. Notice the tricuspid valve. This is the leaflet of the tricuspid valve. This is the left side of the heart. Here's the leaflet of the bicuspid valve. Leaflet one and leaflet two. Notice the papillary muscle, the cordy tendony, the leaflet itself, and the trabeculae cornei. Another structure we would like to point out is the aortic semilunar valve. Remember that blood will leave the left ventricle, pass to the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta. The aortic semilunar valve then will prevent backflow of blood from the aorta into the left ventricle. Observe the three leaflets of the aortic semilunar valve. This is also a coronal section, but in this dissection, the cut is complete where we only see the posterior component of the heart. This is the right side of the heart. Notice that the wall is thin and this is the tricuspid valve that separates the chambers from each other. This is the right atria and below this valve is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle and this is known by looking at the thickness of the wall and that the left ventricle is um, at the apex. This is the bicuspid valve. Inferior to the bicuspid valve is the left ventricle. Superior to the bicuspid valve is the left atria. And in this cut, we have a nice view through the aorta, which is demonstrating how blood will exit from the left ventricle into the aorta, and notice the remnant of the aortic semilunar valve. This view is a transverse section below the coronary sulcus. From this view, we are looking down into the chambers of the ventricles. Note the thin wall of the right ventricle versus the thick wall of the left ventricle. Notice the collapsed chamber on the right side and the open chamber on the left side. 
and it maintains this shape because of the thickness of the wall. The roundness of this wall bulges into the right ventricle and creates this collapsed appearance of the right ventricular wall against the left ventricular wall. This is the right ventricle and the left ventricle.